your suffering will be legendary. My hunger grows. Hello, hello, this is Amigo Jeppe and welcome back. Today we are trying the new Death Knight Hero card for Warlock. Blood Reaver Ghoul Dan, a 10 mana card that has the Nazov effect of summoning all friendly demons that die this game. On top of that you get a new hero power that says deal free damage to an enemy plus you get lifesteal so if you're dealing free damage you also heal, heal yourself for free. This card single handedly revived handlock, uh, a type of new demon lock and even a new Reno lock with Cruel the Unshackled. So this is a very powerful card to have. Today we are trying a kind of a mix between hand lock and demon lock with Twilight Drakes and Mountain Giants of course. Plus we have Medivh the Guardian with Twisting Nether that you know when you play Twisting Nether you clear the board and with Etiesh from Medivh you also get an 8 mana minion. But you cannot tell what kind of minion you will get but it's still a minion on the board. Also we have a lot of removals from Defile, the new MVP card for Warlocks, we have Mortal Coil to draw, we have Doomsayers in case we are facing a lot of aggro decks, we have Drain, Drain of Souls that is very good with Tainted Zealot, we have an Urban Ring Farseer because we need the heals because we are going to tap a lot in a lot of our games, also we have one Hellfire and one Blast Crystal Potion. Blast, Blast Crystal Potion is a very good card but is not very seen on the ladder recently Brothers, because we have Twisting Nether and we also have Defile. Uh, Blast Crystal Potion is a cheap way to deal with uh, big minions but the problem is you lose one mana crystal. It's not that big of a deal but if you're playing Blood Reaver Gul'dan it's kind of a big deal. You, we also have Abyssal Enforcers, Enforcers that deal free damage to the whole board and also the heroes so it's kind of a good card and a bad card if you're facing against aggro it's a bad card if you're facing against control it's a very good card and with blood river gulden you won't miss the free damage because you can heal yourself up with your hero power we also have the lich king the 8 mana card that gives you a random Death Knight card at the end of his and at the end of your turn. And the Death Knight cards are very useful in some situations. It depends on what card the Lich King will give you. Plus, this deck is heavily, heavily on control with a Siphon Souls, and on top of that, we have one Black Knight because your opponent could also play the Lich King, and Black Knight is very good. So let's see, today we are facing our first opponent, a mage, that is on top of it a very elementally mage with blaze colors and ooh, Breath of Sindragosa, that's interesting. So this is an elemental mage, so I'm gonna put $5 and bet that this mage has also his uh, Death Knight card, Frost uh, Lich Jaina. So here we are just going to be a little bit greedy and play our Mediv the Guardian to set up Etiesh for Siphon Soul or if we are lucky we could get Twisting Nether. So let's see, he's going to use one Fireball and he's gonna, gonna go face with the Blaze Collar and on top of that he's going to play a Tark Reaper. Hmm, interesting. So here we are going to Siphon Soul, the Blaze Collar, and we are going to get the 6 mana minion. Okay, Tarim! Perfect, so we got a taunt, a free 7 taunt that uh, can be killed with the uh, fireball but the problem is he's going to use fireball on that minion instead of using it on my face. So that's very good for us. So let's see, an elemental mage has blaze colors, it has uh, Baron Geddon of course, it has Pyros and it has uh, Ice Walker, so that card is very annoying late game because it also freezes my minions, so I cannot attack with my minions. Hmm, so let's see. Oh, we have Twisting Nether. So is it good to play Twisting Nether here? Hmm, let's see. Tainted Zealot is... Um, hmm. 
I could stall or I could play the Lich King here and maybe draw into something more interesting or maybe I could play Tainted Zealot and hmm, kill the Ice Walker with the Drain Soul and that is uh, the thing that, that I'm going to do here because Ice Walker could be very annoying if I'm playing the Lich King. Plus, he, he has uh, one Water Elemental and a Tar Creeper and Tarim can't hold the door but it's not very powerful if he plays a fireball again or okay so he's playing a blizzard okay so this is gonna be very interesting so is he gonna use okay frostbolt and is he gonna trade the tar creeper in okay or the water elemental okay he's not trading into anything so we could play twisting nether or we could summon our Lich King, but I think I'm gonna go with Twisting Nether because we need an 8 drop. Maybe we can get Tyrion or the Lich King. Oh, come on, we got the turtle, the hero in a half shell that has a battle cry of uh, playing a random spell from your class. But it's not very good because I cannot utilize the battle cry. Hmm. Okay, so my, my turtle, my Tortolan, is going to survive. But he's playing mirror image, so I cannot deal damage to face. So, we could go and play Abyssal Enforcer, but I think I'm gonna go and play my Dreadlord here. And, hmm, I could tap, but it's not a very good... No, I think I'm gonna tap here. I know I have tapped last, but I was thinking of tapping or to not tap, because I'm very low on health. He could have a Pyroblast and could just ping me down for 4 turns. Or maybe he could have uh, maybe something even more aggressive. So let's see, we could play our Twilight Drake or we could tap. Hmm, I think I could... I think I'm gonna play my Twilight Drake. Cause Blood River Gul'dan is good. But it's uh, we don't have a lot of demons. So I think I'm gonna go with the approach and summon my uh, Lich King because maybe I can get uh, more uh, Death Coil or I could get something even more good like this, the Anti-Magic Shield. This is a perfect card and a very powerful card to have if you have a lot of minions. Plus we have the Lich King that is a town and the next turn we could summon a lot of minions. So. We could uh, play Anti-Magic Shield and the mage is forced to trade with his minions because our minions cannot be targeted by spells or hero power. So if, uh, if he wants to generate more elementals with his new hero power, he cannot use his hero power at all. So here we are just going to go face and we are going to play Anti-Magic Shield next turn because now we have a board and maybe we are going to win so we have uh, anti-magic shield plus mortal coil so this is very interesting for us we also could play blood river gul'dan but i think uh, we have lethal with anti-magic shield and death coil so let's see primordial glyph okay so he's going to keep that spell in hand but i think this is gg death coil deal five damage plus Six. Yep, th this is GG with the anti-magic shield. Okay, so we are going to kill our opponent and say GG well played, but today the warlock saves the day. Okay, our next opponent is gonna be a hunter and as my knowledge tells me, this is a mid-range hunter with Deathstalker Rexar on top of it. This is the only deck that is seen played on the ladder or, a or the other one that is a face hunter or an aggressive hunter. So my hand is not very good but maybe we could get something like a Doomsayer. Perfect, that's a very good card to have in case he's playing alley cats or razor maws or even hyenas or animal companion into huffers. So Galaka uh, Crawler is played. I wonder if Pirate Warrior is still a thing, even though the weapon is nerfed, the Fiery War Axe costs 3 mana now, 
I think that Pirate Warrior is not very strong, but it's still very a very vi viable deck. But it's not very powerful and aggressive that kills you on turn 6. So here I'm going to abuse this situation and tap. Because we need to find our core cards. So he's gonna Animal Companion into Puffer. And that's not very good for us. So here I think I'm gonna go and play the Doomsayer. And I think I'm gonna end my turn. Because... Or... Play the Doomsayer and tap. And then my turn. Sorry, I was thinking about not tapping. But I think I'm gonna go and tap. Because we definitely need new a uh, lot of healing spells like drain of drain of souls and well that's it because we don't have any other healing mechanics sorry i thought my deck had uh, more healing mechanics but only heals in our deck is urban ring farseer and the drain drain of souls here we are going to play the dreadlord the file is also good and it could take two times and we are going to play a town. I think I'm gonna go and play Defile maybe and on to top it all off I think we're gonna play the Void Void Walker and end our turn. I was thinking of playing the Dread the Dreadlord but maybe he will be more useful next turn like this because Animal Companion gave Huffer again. You know Animal Companion gives uh, gives 75% uh, Huffer and the rest is Misha or Leok. So here we are going to play our Dreadlord and just gonna clear the board. But the Bear Shark, the mighty mighty Bear Shark still lives. And I think he's going to go for a more aggressive style and just gonna, gonna go face and uh, kill me off very fast. So we are in a very bad, I say, situation. But we could go, we could recover from this. Okay, we're going to Siphon Soul, the, uh, the Savannah High Main. And I think I'm gonna go and kill the Bear Shark. Because the problem is I could kill the Hyena. But I want to kill the Bear Shark because he has cannot be star targeted by spells or hero power. And that could be very problematic if my opponent plays Houndmaster. So here we are going to play the second Siphon Soul. And I think I'm gonna go and play Drain Soul. Because we, we can heal for two and we can get rid of a uh, second hyena. And next turn we can play Abyssal Enforcer. Or maybe we can play Twisting Nether. Depending on how much damage my opponent can, can inflict on my face. My beautiful, beautiful face. So here he, he is playing Deathstalker Rexar, just, just like I told you. And it has a battle cry, but I don't have any minions on the board, so the battle cry is useless. But he's playing. Deathstalker Rex are for the hero power of stitching up two beasts together into an ultra zombie. So here we are playing the Abyssal Enforcer because we have Blood River Gul'dan in hand. So we can play it and heal. We also have Irvin Ring Farseer so we can play that and also Blast Crystal Potion in case he's playing uh, a big minion like here he's playing a zombies. So here we could play the Blast Crystal Potion, but first I think I'm gonna go and play the Twilight Drake. And then we can play the Blast Crystal Potion, and we are just going to go face. I think the problem that my opponent made, he played Deathstalker Rexar too fast, because he, he could have just uh, played... Uh, with his normal hero power if if you're if you're understanding what I'm trying to say because steady shot is a very aggressive hero power and I was at low health so he could have just stayed Rexar the normal version and just steady shot my face and play other beasts plus on top of it he could have the other skill command and damage me very low but every player does what he wants so he wants to build a big board with a lot of big minions and here he has two poisonous minions. So I am I am obligated to clean to clean out the board. So here we are playing our dreadlord, heal ourselves for free. And I think I'm going to go and trade into everything because he still has one more kill command 
and I don't want him to have uh, a board. Because the weakness of a hunter is if, if, if he doesn't have minions, he cannot go face. So here he's uh, gonna build another zombiest. I think he's gonna play maybe a taunt zombiest, but we have the black knight, so that's very good for us. Or maybe he's going to play something even bigger. Maybe he could he could uh, stitch up something with the life steal. Okay, bear shark into hound master. Perfect. So that so our uh, black knight is very good here. So here we could black knight. Okay, we're going to black knight the uh, bear shark with the urban ring farseer. We are trading for it for free. And we are going to go face with the Dreadlord and end our turn. And the Dreadlord activates his ability and kills the two sad, sad kitties. So now he's going to build a new Zombiest. Because he saw I've played my back Black Knight. Sorry, my Black Knight. So he played, he's going to build a new Zombiest. Hmm, very interesting. Well, th this is gonna be a very awkward trade, but in my opinion is we need to trade everything into that big, big gorilla. Because the problem is, it has poisonous, and I'm it can also sword. trade and go face. So here we are going and definitely going to play our Abyssal Enforcer. And next turn we could play Blood River Gul'dan, because at my knowledge, with my knowledge, I think that we have played all our demons. So we are going to have a big big board this turn. So let's see, he's going to build a Zombiest, he's going to deadly shot my Abyssal Enforcer. That's good for me because I can resummon it with Blood River Gul'dan. He's going to use Tracking, okay, that's reasonable. And he's going to play a Zombiest with Poisonous again. Hmm. I could go and play Hellfire plus Defile, but that's just a stupid move. I think I'm gonna go and stick with my plan of playing Blood River Gul'dan because I've played my two Voidwalkers, my two Dreadlords, and my two Abyssal Enforcers. And that's all I need. So let the change begin. From night, from black and shadow, blood covers us all, because now I am Blood River Gul'dan. Fear me, y'all. Sorry, that was just something I made up in my head. So this is a very good board to have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six demons on the board. We have two towns. We can deal free damage with my new hero power of chomping a little bit of health from my opponent and giving it to me. And also, we have Abyssal Enforcers and Dreadlords that can deal that can deal 2 damage to all the enemy minions, just like a mini consecration. Oh boy, unleash the hound, so that will definitely kill hmm, maybe 1 or 2 minions. Okay, so now we have 2 Dreadlords on the board, and I think, okay, so he's going face with the puppies. That's very good for him. Hmm. Okay, so he he went face with the puppies and killed with the other two puppies the town. He killed with the timber wolf, the abyssal enforcer. So here we could play the twilight drake and just go face with uh, the dreadlords and we are going to chomp chomp free health from him and giving it to me. Mmm, delicious health for me. The dread the uh, <coughs> the blood river gulden. Sorry, I'm just excited when I played Br Blood River Gul'dan. I think this is my favorite Death Knight Legendary card for, for from the expansion. Blood River Gul'dan is just singing for a control deck, and that is my style. Well, we have won this. GG, my friend. GG. Okay, our last match for today is going to be against the warrior and this is going to be a very interesting match because of the nerf, Fiery War Axe is not a very good weapon to play. It's still uh, free mana, it's still playable, but it's not very usable now because Pirate Warriors may have died, but 
we still have Tempo Warrior and maybe on the horizon there will be a new Control Warrior. Keep the dream strong guys, there will be a new Control Wallet Warrior in the future. So here we are going to play Shadow Bolt on that Fro Frothing Berserker because Frothing Berserker is a very powerful card and could go out of hand very quick. It could be a 7 attack minion in only 1 turn or 2 turns. Because we don't know what type of warrior this, this is. Maybe, maybe it is a, a tempo warrior. Corcron Elite, it's still not telling me much. Maybe it is a pirate warrior, but I still need to see more information. I, I need more information about this. Here we are going to play the Mountain Giant and end our turn. So let's see, if its next card is something pirate related, this is going to be a hard match to win. Okay, Arcanine Reaper tells me that this is definitely a pirate warrior and Red Corsair is just yelling it and Patches is, is here to say hello. Hmm, okay, so this is a pirate warrior and I am at 40 health. We've been lucky and we have drawn the Void Walker. So here we are going to play the Twilight Drake and the Void Walker, and I think I'm gonna go and trade for the Red Corsair with my Mountain Giant. So this is a very bad situation for me. Hmm. So he has 10 damage on the board. If he has a Mortal Strike, I'm dead. If not, I I still live. So let's see. I could go. Hmm. I really need some heals. Maybe a Drain of Soul. Or an Urban Ring Farseer. Okay, Heroic Strike. Now, this is not looking very good. So he's still going face. And that's 4. I'm at 4 health. And he uses the, he uses the Galaka Crawler to eat patches. And he has a 3-4 on the board. So now... Hmm. If we have drawn some... Uh, some heals. And we are, we are going to play the Tainted Zealot. And I think I'm gonna go and hmm, Mortal Coil is now 2 mana, so with that I'm gonna go and heal the Corcron Elite. I'm going to heal for free, so that's good for us. We're going to trade with the Twilight Drake and with the Mountain Giant. And this is a very good situation to be in, because next turn we are going to coin out the Lich King, so he cannot go face anymore with more charges or any other face damage shenanigans. Also an Acidic Swampus, interesting indeed, maybe there are more pirate warriors on the ladder. Hmm, okay, coin out, come forth Lich King and serve me for one or two turns. So, we are going to trade for everything because, or we are going to trade for the same Swampus and I think I'm gonna go and go face with the Mountain Giant and the Zealot. Oh come on, from all the Death Knight cards you're giving me Obliterate, but I don't have a lot of health, so I cannot kill anything. So he's going face with all of his minions, because maybe he's hoping to draw Mortal Strike, or maybe the second Corcron Elite. He also replaced his hook with Fiery War Axe, the new Fiery War Axe that cost 3 mana. So here we are going face to town and I think this is GG if he top decks the Mortal Strike. Or a Corcron Elite. No, it's still not enough because we have two towns now. Let's see. This is GG my friend or, or not GG. Okay, he top decked the Corcron Elite. And he's going to kill my Void Walker. And I think this is game. This was a good match. GG! As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment and a like. And if you want to see more or help the channel grow, you can subscribe to Amigo JP. Until then, don't forget to have fun. And I will see you in the next one. See ya!